come and read the two resolutions. Most worshipful sovereign Grand Master, Right Worshipful Mighty Grand Master, Distinguished Sir Knights, Sir Knights all, friends, it gives me great pleasure and privilege to read these two resolutions that we wish to consider today. The resolution of faith and the resolution of loyalty. The first one of faith reads as follows. As Sir Knights of an institution which holds to the reformed Protestant and evangelical understanding of the Christian faith, we are aware of the increasing pressures of those who are faithful to these principles. We call upon all our Sir Knights to recommit themselves to this faith as to the promises they made when joining the Royal Black Institution. We insist that government at all levels recognize and respect the moral and ethical imperatives that flow from adherence to that faith. Trusting as always in the one who is King of Kings and Lord of Lords, we are determined to stand fast in the faith once delivered to the saints. And our second resolution of loyalty, we the officers and Sir Knights of the Royal Black Institution reaffirm our undiminished loyalty to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and Head of the Commonwealth. Our members in Northern Ireland in particular were deeply appreciative of the visit of Her Majesty and Prince Philip to the city of Armagh on Monday, Thursday, the 20th of March 2008, when she honoured 164 of our citizens, including a number of members of our institution. Most Worshipful Sovereign Grand Master and Sir Knights, these are the resolutions for your consideration this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Knight Livings. We now come to the resolutions themselves, and the resolutions will be proposed by our Sovereign Grand Master, the Most Worshipful Sir Knight Miller Farr. Please welcome our Sovereign Grand Master. As we go 
know about our daily life, each of us is or will be challenged in some way. When that test comes, will we be very wanting? Do we live our life in accordance with God's commandments? I trust we do. And if we have any doubts as to where we stand, we only have to look to the Red Cross where we wear our forehead. It should remind us that our Lord and Saviour died on the cross for our sins. We must all remember this and live our lives to the glory of the one who is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The Red Cross is the ultimate symbol of Christianity and it is from the symbol and the message of sacrifice and salvation it conveys. We can draw the courage to stand up and declare the Christian values and principles so essential in today's world. It is continually said that we live in a changing world and that we must change or be left behind. Tonight's ladies and gentlemen, that may well be the case in some aspects of life, but not when it comes to the faith we profess. We all know right from wrong. Let us practice what is right and discard all that is wrong. God has made it easy for us to follow the right path, setting out the directions in His holy word. If we obey what is contained therein, we are following the lesson we learned from our membership of this institution. For as I have said, each of us is challenged in many ways. But when the question is asked, how deep is your faith? I pray for the truth to be and everlasting.